Ingat makan tu. Malam melong nyaman dah. Sudah aku cuba kamu. Cubalah. <laughs> Bikin garam sikit tu kalau makan mentah. Kalau ada tai dia cuci sikit lah. Buang sikit saja tak ada hal. Kalau dia punya tu batang nyaman tu. Dia sudah kuning ni punya tu tubuh tu. Yang putih-putih kurang nyaman lah. Dia lagi muda. Dia punya pohon tu sudah tebang jadi ulat juga banyak. Pi cuci sikit bawah lah buat dia lari. Lari tanah tu. Dia lubang dia pergi bawah. Memanglah itu ulat molong kalau dia sudah tua memang dia berlari pergi tanah tidak nampak lagi lah dari tanah tanah pergi dia bikin lubang kot tu dia punya tu tu punya kulit tidak apa ada dapat dia gigit tu tebus juga <laughs> bikin lubang lah terus cara tu ulat molong. To belum pernah kayak mula lah tapi kami beranikan diri malah untuk menu baru ke okay. ulat mulong kan boleh kita goreng tumisnya lah sotenya sekejap biarnya si sa lemak gila ada rasnya si basah gila bahannya kita pakai cili padi bawang merah bawang putih tambah bawang besar bawang besar dihiris di slice dihiriskan rasa masuk semua bahan sekali tak sedikit air limau perasa kenggaran biji pegau nya simple je Ulat, uh, they are, because this ulat actually come from sago, part of sago palm trunk. Uh, so sago worm is called Ringo forest ferruginous. It's a form of uh, food actually very high in protein and fat. So that's why when you look at traditionally, these people collect uh, this sago worm from the tree trunk that is already, you know, like mati lah. Uh, they collect all that and then uh, it's part of the, uh, they call it exotic uh, food for the one because you don't find many tree die, tree trunk that we can what. So if you look at uh, some of the market, uh, this sago worm can be as expensive at uh, per kilo is about 50 ringgit, you know. So depending how fresh is the worm and then usually they stir fry and then sometimes they make it into deep fried. Just like you go to Thailand, you look at uh, these people eat uh, grasshopper, they get, uh, eat the womb and the scorpion all that. So in Sarawak, we are famous of the sago. But this sago womb um, is not only in uh, Sarawak. In other part of Borneo, uh, from Indonesia, there are certain community also eat this sago womb. To them, because this is a form of very high protein fat. If you don't have during those olden time when they don't have money to buy like chicken or those poultry, yeah? so this is another form of protein. Lah. They look at that, and to them, this is a, a delicacy, lah. Very expensive thing, lah. Uh, very difficult to find. I always believe that, if, of course, that uh, if you look at some of the documentary, lah, they eat all this worm raw, lah. But uh, it depends on the people. But I always believe it's better to cook, if possible. Why people in that particular uh, community they can take raw because they they took it very often. But if people like us for the first time, all that go for a properly cooked one, lah. But it's delicious, actually. You, uh, particularly uh, if you know how to handle it, because it's uh, it tastes very creamy, you know. Uh, so quite nice, actually. But it, it just said I, I cannot tolerate the the look, lah. Kami dah makan ulat molong masih hidup dua kali dah semua hidup mac. This one is the first time. This is my first ever makan ulat molong. Masa tu di muka. Yang masa hidup gitu eh. Wan 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 yang ulang lah. So this is the first time I ever makan ulat molong when it was still alive, when it was still moving. Ya. Ya ya. Okay. So I just hover it. <laughs> Masuk dalam mulut and just chu 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 chu. Rasanya memang ada rasa buah sikit. Rasanya a bit confusing lah. <laughs> is this like Makan ayam ke, makan buah ke. Because ni macam in between, cross between uh, these two flavors lah. Tapi orang Madah kadang-kadang rasanya ada macam ayam juga, ada macam manok juga, ada macam udang juga. Tapi mun dimasak ada uh, tumis dengan serai. And gini kah orang muka yang masak. Tapi memang it is good lah. Si rasa langsung uh, ulat mulung ya. Nya, memang rasa macam udang ataupun some other uh, daging. Uh, but I must say this is the first time I ever makan dengan kerabu dia nak dengan ada rasa bunga kantan ni apa semua. Yang benarlah kata uh, Mazella ada rasa after taste bunga kantan ya yang men menjadi savior untuk 
uh, untuk ulat mulungnya itself supaya rasa nasi terlalu lantuh. Tapi then again, if people nak makan ulat mulung, you just have to ingat yang you makan, you makan makanan. You when you make makanan, if you first time you makan ulat mulung, memang you akan rasa macam bit meloyakan ataupun mual. But then you should give it a try and take the challenge lah.